So right behind me here, we have Hurler at Carowinds. This wooden coaster has been rumored to get the RMC treatment for a couple of years, but it still hasn't happened yet. But I'll be telling you why this should definitely become the next RMC hybrid in this video. In 1993, Paramount Pictures decided that they wanted to have a role in the amusement industry, so they have purchased five theme parks. At the time, all of these parks were operated by Taft Broadcasting. These five theme parks were Canada's Wonderland located in Canada, California's Great America in California, King's Island in Ohio, King's Dominion in Virginia, and the topic of today's video, Carowinds in North Carolina. Paramount decided that their newest acquisitions needed some roller coasters, so in between 1993 and 1995, they would invest brand new coasters into all five parks. It started in 93, when both Kings Island and California's Great America would open Top Gun roller coasters. The one in California was a B&M inverted coaster, one of the first of the genre, and the one in Ohio was an aerodynamic suspended family coaster. However, that's besides the point. The real thing, the one that makes up this video came the next year, when they decided that both Carowinds and Kings Dominion needed brand new wooden coasters. They gave both a hurler. These wooden coasters would be built by a company that nobody had heard of at the time, because they had never built a coaster prior, and these two hurler rides that would be clones of each other would be the only coasters this company would ever build. I'm talking about International Coasters Incorporated. Yeah, I guarantee you've never heard of them. These two hurler coasters would both open as a part of each park's brand new Wayne's World themed area of the park. However, now, over 25 years later, one hurler closed. The one at King's Dominion closed in 2015, just after the 20th anniversary of the coaster and now resides as Twisted Timbers, an RMC or Rocky Mountain Construction hybrid conversion of the original. They ripped out all of that old wooden coaster track and replaced it with steel track and gave an all new layout that features over a dozen airtime moments, three inversions, is glossy smooth and is a fantastic roller coaster. Meanwhile, down at Carowinds, their hurler is unfortunately still fully operational. As rough as any wooden coaster could ever be, but a retracking wouldn't help this ride either, because it has one of the worst and most boring coaster layouts on earth. No airtime, no laterals, no positive Gs, it just kinda goes throughout the course doing nothing. It was built to be an extreme coaster, but it honestly kinda feels like a family ride. I honestly think that the best coaster that Carowinds could add next is an RMC conversion of Hurler. This would be the absolute perfect next coaster for Carowinds. It would be pretty cheap, likely around $10 million, which may sound like a lot. However, since the park had no issue paying over $30 million for both Copperhead Strike and Fury 325, I'm sure that this would sound like a bargain to them. And they can just go ahead and clone Twisted Timbers to save a little bit of money on design cost, cause that coaster was built out of the exact same structure as Hurler. Also, just market it as the tallest, fastest, longest, steepest, whatever hybrid coaster in the Carolinas. That would really bring some all-new life into this area of the park. Fury 325, arguably one of the world's best and most popular roller coasters, is located just about 100 feet down the midway from Hurler, and that fully steals all of this coaster's thunder. Not that Hurler has any thunder otherwise, however, Fury definitely steals all of it. You have to walk past the old, run-down, very unpopular wooden coaster to get to one of the world's best coasters, so if they were to just give it the RMC treatment, that would bring an all-new amount of life into this area of the park, that besides from Fury being there, nobody really goes back here, it's just Hurler and the drop tower. Carowinds objectively has one of the best roller coaster collections in the world, with Fury 325 being a great standout, Intimidator being an absolute airtime machine. 
They have the inversions covered by a few rides, mainly Afterburn, Copperhead Strike, and Flying Cobras. Copperhead Strike also features a launch, and even though Hurler is the park's only large-scale wooden coaster, and if they RMC it, they would have to replace it with a modern Gravity Group or GCI, I think that that would be well worth it. And if they do RMC Hurler and then get that modern wooden coaster, I genuinely think that Carowinds could have the best, or at least second or third best coaster collection in the entire world. Even though I probably just sound like a super whiny coaster enthusiast who thinks that three B&Ms, a super expensive launch coaster, and ten other roller coasters isn't enough for Carowinds, I actually do really enjoy that park. I just think an RMC conversion of Hurler could bump them into the elite tier. And honestly, this isn't just a coaster enthusiast dream. The general public really seems to enjoy RMC's coasters, as they often get the longest lines at their respective parks. Anyways, what do you guys think are the chances of Carowinds actually are I'm seeing Hurler? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like rating and subscribe for more roller coaster content just like this on Hangtime Thrills. I'll catch you guys next time.